Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile Escape from the Pit. Today, it is time to breach the demon prison. You find an ancient message carved into the living rock. Scaragath. Beware, for death lies in and beyond. Friendly place, no? There are three large runes on the wall between the doors. You recognize them. Warning, imprisonment, and death. So in other words, stay out, this means you. And they even have the nerve to lock the doors. A figure stands here, a waxy golem carved in the shape of a human. It stares straight ahead, seeing nothing. It doesn't move or speak. It says in a dry, whispery voice, None must go beyond. And there's kind of a lot of them here. A book lies open on the pedestal. The book lists those who died to defeat Greyhoff. It is a long list. And it ends with the reassuring message, and many more will be added should Greyhoff be freed. Well, unfortunately, several more have already been added, and he's not free yet. And this one is the same thing. Were they expecting visitors here? Except for the throne in the middle of the floor, the room to the south seems suspiciously bare. Oh, look! A lich! And a zappy floor. The insubstantial form of a man wearing a crown sits on the throne. An eerie heat and power radiates from him. I am Prince Hrothar. I died long past in the war against our prisoner. Once, long ago, there was a war against an army of demons and foul spirits. I led our troops, and I fell a gout of Hakai flame shattering my chest. I am here now, forever trying to keep the unknowing from freeing the demon lord. Here we go. Beyond this place lies the tower where the mighty demon lord Greyhoth lies imprisoned. It is unlikely you could free him, but if you did, your mind cannot encompass the consequences. We could not kill him. I am sure you cannot either. He will fill exile with his foul brood, and the humanity of the caves would serve as his cattle. Do not let this happen. Leave now, before you do unimaginable harm. I beg you, in the name of exile, go now. Yeah, but we've got something you didn't have, and that's Demon Slayer. Specifically made to slay big demons. Even if it doesn't work on the... Drat mung demons. You find a huge brass throne, flush against the north wall. To either side of it are two braziers, burning scented wood. There is a large kneeling pad prominently placed in front of the throne. The image of King Micah of Exile appears sitting in the throne. It begins to speak. I don't know who you are. I don't know what allegiances you hold. I only know this. You should not be here. A horrible force lies beyond this place. Should it be freed, all will suffer. But we realize it may be necessary to pass. Be careful, and be sure to perform the ritual to deactivate the guards. The image disappears, and the throne sits empty. Ritual? What ritual? Micah never told us about any ritual. Ooh, a button on the wall. We press the button. You push the button and it stays in. 
you hear grinding noises in the distance. And we have cheesed off the guards. Strap in everybody, this fight might take a while. And Mal has Heartfinder on. Ooh, nice. I don't take any damage from Shockwave when everyone's standing in one square. I didn't think that was going to be all of them. Wait, it goes Zoe. Anybody else remaining? Okay, there's a couple guys on the other side of the portcullis that we can't get to. Let's take a quick save right here. So we found one button. Perhaps there's another at the other end of the fort. Unfortunately, we'll have to go through the lich to get him. can cast major blessing on himself. That's not good. Is the floor still zappy? Unfortunately, the floor is still zappy. So let's do a big curse on you. Much better. so bad. Bronze Helm is not worth picking up, but the food is. Here we go. Another button. Button is pressed. Oh, interesting. The edges of the room are not zappy. Ow. I do believe that's all of the guards. Assuming none of these statues come to life. So, you know what? We may be uh, right next to the prison tower of a demon, but there's no other monsters in this area. Should be safe for rest. 
nice warm cozy spot. Dun dun dun! Prison of Greyhearth. There is a small monument here. It is a carving of three mages shooting huge bolts of fire into a bottle. The inscription is worn away. So, yes, this does feel like an area where I want to do some perimeter checks. Indeed, sometimes you can find useful things that way. There is a small area of paved floor in the middle of this tiny cave. Carved in one of the larger stones, you see a circle of strange glowing runes. When you move close, you hear a soft chiming noise, and the runes fade slowly away. Strange. Hmm. I don't remember exactly, but that may be one of the uh, security measures of this area to help get us into the tower. There's a stone sign here. Do not enter. Oh no, undead. skeleton. There. Oh, another one. Why is Greyhoth being guarded by zombies and skeletons? Oh, and vampire. even come from? Ravage Spirit is more for demons, so I should just use a uh, Dispel Undead on this guy. What do you mean you're still standing? Oh dear. Okay, I'm in more trouble than I expected.
Although I don't know if anyone noticed that, but the vampire just took zero damage from poison. That means one of two things, either he didn't get very much poison applied at all, or more likely, he's immune to poison. Which I think might actually apply to all undead monsters. So, you may be immune to poison, but you have plenty vulnerable to fire. I said plenty vulnerable, darn it. There's a huge stone sign here. Prison of Greyhoth. All standard warnings apply. Isn't that delightful? Oh, crud. Uh, Simon's at zero health. I cannot allow that. Wait, no, just regular revive. Can't be having my main uh, healer priest die. That's no good. And was there anything in here? Guess not. This is another do not enter sign and seem to have spawned another ghoul. And a white. Yeah, pretty sure undead monsters are all immune to poison. This room has a few special dots. Small red button. So we find small red buttons, dull and opaque. Pressing them makes them translucent and glowing. you. Let me show you how much I don't like you. Now was it Kaylee? Yes, Kaylee has the crystal wand. less than obvious trick to getting in here. Aha! This could be useful. Step into the glowing portal. Huh. Hello. that just dumps us back outside. How rude. <sighs> this 
this area is even more annoying than I remembered. Try not to step in the lava. I need to find out where this spirit actually is. It's in spell range, I can tell that much. There. And have it dispel on you. Excellent. I would like to do a revive on Kaylee, but I just don't have the spell points. Okay, so... Ooh, there's two portals in here now, and I think one of them is fake. Yeah, this will just get us back to the exit again. refill on health and spell points before we do this once more. So, step on the runes. Then make our way around the tower, to the back side, into the correct portal. Don't go in that portal, but instead take the secret door. And figure out which one okay figure out how to get through the large wall of magic barriers ow Save once again. We do have the Blessed of Thame. I don't think I've ever seen the error message if I come here without it. I imagine that is uh, hilarious. There is a marble pedestal here. Embedded in its top is a simple clay flask. The bottle is covered from top to bottom with tiny, intricate silver runes, and the cork has a large lead seal. Your knowledge of mage lore is sufficient that you recognize the runes on the bottle to be runes of binding and imprisoning. The lead seal is unadorned and looks rather unimposing. So, may as well stop putting it off and break the seal. You carefully take the Blessed Athame and cut off the lead seal. When you do, nothing happens at first. Then there is a powerful explosion, knocking you back against the walls. Foul gases pour from the bottle, choking you. Then, with a spine-vibrating screech that could only come from a creature of hell, an enormous, clawed, flaming monstrosity appears, floating above the bottle. It stretches, then roars. He begins to study his surroundings about the time you begin to come to. He looks at you with contempt and amusement. Thank you, mortals. 
I could wreak great havoc from inside there, but that was nothing compared to what I can do now. I will not kill you yet, but one day I believe you will come to me, and when you do, I will pay you for your service in full. Then he roars, shatters the bottle with a carelessly tossed bolt of lightning, and disappears. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So... Now to get back out of here... Greyhoff has been released, and now we gotta chase him down. Oh, this effect again. I think he's destroyed another fort. The fort has been decimated in your absence. It looks like it's received a punch in the center from a huge fist, blasting a tunnel through the whole structure. The statues have changed since you've been here last. Everything smokes. Yeah, we've gone from human to more, uh, lizard-style statues. Interesting design choice. And very blasted walls. Someone's left a little surprise for us. How delightful. Time to go slay some demons. Crystal Wand isn't actually going to be that useful against demons, nor is the Fire Orb Necklace. So let's see if I can Ice Bolt something from here. On second thought, a slow group might have been better.
<laughs> Interesting, the owl. The secret passage appears to be gone. Maybe he collapsed the tunnel. Aw, they destroyed the memorial books. The jerks. And here's an imp that's not trying to kill us. I guess he doesn't care that we killed all his friends. A tiny imp sits in the huge throne. It idly tosses little balls of flame from one claw to another. I'm Frazic! It cackles. It squeals with delight. I've been left to give you a little message. Just a little message. Hee! It grins, showing many tiny, red, razor-sharp teeth. Mighty Greyhoth cordially invites you to visit him in his new fort. Does he now? It rolls around th in the throne, twitching with excitement and amusement. Northwest, beyond the lake of lava. He summons you there for a fair fight. You better go or you're doomed. The imp screeches, a hideous piercing noise that's painful and unsettling at the same time. He's going to kill you all! All of you! He will have his revenge! He will freeze you as our plaything for years! You will all die and die slow! Now you know! Hooray! We know where to find Greyhoth now! Hey, now I thought the edge of the room was safe. Very ow. Okay, when you're uh, so mad and or powerful, you even tear up the walkway. The carving is now unreadable. Someone has blasted it with flame. Melted rock runs down the wall. Someone has melted the wall here and scratched into the rock. Here see the fate of all exile. Welp, we've got a bit of a job ahead of us. Tune in next time, and we'll start traveling northward to put down the demon Greyhoth for good. Have a good one, everybody.